What's up? It's your boy Boss Cowboy Sports bringing you another Magic Kool Aid report. Uh, so first, uh, doing a little bit different. I'm driving, uh, so got, I'm not gonna be making as much eye contact because I'm keeping my eyes on the road. But this the deal, man. First of all, I'm gonna be at training camp today, in Dallas. I'm excited about that because you know Dallas is my city. Uh, obviously, training camp was in Oxnard, then it obviously went to uh, you know the Chargers territory. Now it's in Dallas. It's at our location, so I'm excited about that. So um, I'm definitely um, excited to talk about that and be out there to cover that. So y'all make sure y'all keep y'all notifications on uh, because obviously I'm gonna be using my eyes this time versus other people's eyes, and that's okay. Either way, man, we want to get y'all the coverage. But this is the deal. This is what's been on my mind, especially since the OC's video that he did yesterday. First of all, great video by the OC breaking down uh, A. Collins. I mean, very good job on that. He, he really killed it, as usual. And his numbers are reflecting that video is doing real good. If you haven't checked out the video, go check it out. He, he lays out a fantastic case on uh, Avante. But this is what I want to just say and just to keep it all the way real. And I want to get y'all comments on this. The more and more I think about it, the more and more I'm going to just tell everybody that the thought of swing tackle is officially dead. There is no swings right now in the Dallas Cowboys. Because uh, the OC talked about it. I want to kind of go heavier into it. But there is no swings in Dallas. And the whole thought of bringing in a swing is over. And the major reason why it's over, because honestly, man, time is up. There's no more time. So, like, even if you brought in somebody, when are they going to get the work to be prepared to be that swing to come in in case any one of the tackles go down, especially if T. Smith go down? Who would you trust at this point to come in with now they would have no training camp and no reps to get ready? So just the thought of that, man, it's over with. Because, see, offensive line is not like corner. Like corner, at corner, at corner, man, let me out, brother. Well, Y'all some inconsiderate drivers, man. It's all good. Yeah. All right, but at corner, oh, I made it. at corner, shoot. You can come in and just play because corner is a position that transfers real easy and the coverages are pretty universal. Receiver would take some time. Running back would take some time. It's nearly impossible unless you're an elite tackle to just come in off the street or come in because you got a phone call and be ready to go behind T. Smith. It's impossible. So the thought of it is actually dead. It's it's really no more. Y'all give me one second. Yeah, let me get a bacon, egg, and cheese to keto. I mean, bacon, egg, and cheese taco with an orange juice. That's it. I appreciate it. Yeah, so... uh. It's dead, it's, 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 you know. So it's one of those things to where it's almost like when I was discussing um, trying to get Kelly Moore to become more adaptable in his offense. That's also dead because they already came out with the fact that it's gonna be more of the same. When Whenever we saw them talking about going to spots and, and the system offense and when Will McClay came out and said that we have no feature guys in this offense, I mean, that means that the, the hay is in the barn, as Coach Marv would say. It, it's done. So it's the same thing with Swing Tackle. It is over with. So at this point, we're getting ready to roll with the plan that they discussed. Y'all give me one second, man. Let me get my food. Yeah, it's over with. It's over you know, so it's a situation where at this point, they they ran with their plan, and their plan is we're gonna go with these young guys, and uh, and these young guys is Bob, um, Matt, and Matt don't even make sense. Like Matt, like at this point, they need to send. You know, obviously, always double check your order. They'll get your stuff wrong. Double checking my order. 
looks good. All right. But this is the deal, man. Um. Uh, yeah, Matt. They need to put Matt on the shelf. They need to put Matt on the shelf. He done as well. I mean, Coach Marv, he raised the excellent point, man. Shout out to Coach Marv, man. He feed the nation his knowledge. Uh, you know. Yeah, it's he didn't get enough reps to even count on him and swing. I, listen, you can't. Listen, I'd rather bet on Ball than Matt, because at this point, at least Ball got some reps. See, this is what you can do with a Ball. You can say, all right, we've been having you play left tackle. We should have been having Collins over getting rotational reps, but we didn't. We made that mistake. Uh, so guess what? You had to now coach up Ball. So just like when Steele first played left tackle, man, I don't have my buttons, but I would give him the womp, womp, womp when he moved over to the left tackle. I mean, it was bad, you know? But over time, they coached him up, and he started getting better and better. That is what they're going to have to do with Ball, and that's what they have decided to do with Ball. It's just what it is. It's just what it is. So it's, it's so I'm just keeping it real right now. Like it's one of those things to where, after thinking about it and just looking at the timing of where we are, the thought of swing is dead. We getting ready to go in the season and battle out with what we have. It's just what it is. So I just want to just keep it real with everybody and just explain that uh, that it's dead. It's it's the, the thought of swing is now dead. There's nobody coming in on the outside. No, at this point, does it even make sense, in my opinion, uh, because you don't have any more time to get this person up to speed. Because at least when we used to have four preseason games, maybe you could do it. Maybe you could say, all right, we got two preseason games left. We saw enough out of ball. Let's, let's kind of play with the scenario of bringing in the guy uh, see if he can kind of get up to speed and see if we can trust him. Now, if you go be my swing to protect that, that uh, blind side, I need you in here. I need you getting reps. I need to be coaching you up. I need to get the rust off of you. It's a whole lot of stuff I got to do with a top. You know, and so you can tell that this is the number one way that you know that it's pretty much what it is and that the hay is in the barn, as Coach Marv would say. Look at the amount of reps they gave Ball and Collins. They got the most percentage of reps out of everybody in both uh, preseason games, hands down. So they that means that they took a joint effort to make sure they got plenty of film on both of those guys and they went out the way to make sure that those guys was ready. And where they go coach him up. So I just want to kind of give the uh oh man. I want to give my analysis on what I really think is getting ready to happen with this swing this year. Just what it is. Steven Jones is going there with those young guys. And so, you know, we getting ready to see what's getting ready to happen. He he won't ball the ball play that left. He won't ball to learn by fire. That's what it is. And if Matt he want him to learn by fire. I think both of those are actually bad ideas. I think it'll be best right now with how Collins been playing. Right now, better work him in. You better work him in and give him some type of game reps at that left side, even if he stink. Man, get him over there. Get 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 that rust off him. Because at least this is the thing about A. Collins and the OC brought this up. This is the thing about A. Collins. At least A played on the left side with Minnesota. So, you know, the adjustment shouldn't be as bad. You know, it just shouldn't be as bad. Uh, and, and, and expect Russ going from right to left, just like we saw Steele playing good at the right, but then went to pff, whomp, whomp, whomp on the left. You know, I expect that also, man, just keeping it real. But to me, that's the way to kind of work out this last preseason. But I wanted to give y'all the measure Kool-Aid, man, on, you know, swing tackle, man. And also let y'all know that we're getting ready to be at training camp. I talked to Big Game James. I talked to Law. Uh, we don't know exactly how we're going to bring y'all the final word, but y'all better believe it's going to be nice. So even if it's pre-recorded. But, man, y'all stay up, man. It's Boss Cowboy Sports with your voice matter. Peace out.